What is up? This is your Desert in a Minute. And do you know about the rule that transformed Palm Springs from Desert Health Enclave to stylish oasis to some of the biggest stars in Hollywood? I'm talking about the two-hour rule. And it's the reason why Palm Springs became, well, Palm Springs. Let's get into it. Ever since the 1880s, when Wellwood Murray noted the charm of the palm trees, the desert, and the hot springs, and created the Palm Springs Hotel in 1886, Palm Springs had been a burgeoning resort town. The Palm Springs Hotel was the first hotel in the charming, attractive desert outpost that became fashionable for health tourism due to its hot and dry climate. Early adoptees of the nascent Palm Springs lifestyle included United States Vice President Charles Fairbanks, who served under Teddy Roosevelt, as well as early adventurer and environmentalist John Muir. The Palm Springs Hotel was notable and established the city's bona fides as a health resort town. By 1909, Nellie Kaufman and her physician husband Harry opened the Desert Inn, another hotel and sanitarium. This won't play a large role in the future of Palm Springs. As would the Oasis Hotel, which was built by Pearl McCollum and was designed by famed architect Lloyd Wright. As Palm Springs developed as a resort town, little by little Hollywood stars would make their way, including Rudolph Valentino. And it was at this time that the movie studios in Hollywood had a showdown with the Roman Catholic Church over what was being described as advanced sexuality and sinfulness in cinema. This culminated in the production code, where representatives of the Catholic Church had to approve every line of dialogue, every costume, and every poster for each movie that wanted their seal of approval. Studios knew they had to comply if they wanted their films to receive widespread distribution, so in turn, they inserted morality clauses into their actors' contracts. Within that morality clause was a provision called the two-hour rule. The two-hour rule mandated that when in production, actors under contract have to be within a two-hour drive of filming in case they were needed for film or photo shoots. And what that two-hour rule did for the city of Palm Springs, according to the Palm Springs Bureau of Tourism, was it put Palm Springs on the map as a perfect getaway, two hours away from Los Angeles. Palm Springs became wildly popular in Hollywood and the industry almost overnight. I mean, the movie colony neighborhood was developed. Actors Charles Farrell and Robert Bellamy opened the Racquet Club, Pearl McCallum opened the Tennis Club, and nightclubs such as the Dunes, and the Shishi gave Palm Springs an entire new type of lifestyle. Spas, pools, casinos were opening as the Hollywood heavyweights were enjoying life in Palm Springs, two hours away from Los Angeles. You know the names, Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr., Bob Hope, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. The list goes on and on. From then until now, Palm Springs has cemented its reputation as the perfect getaway for the movie industry due to its salubrious climate, accentuated by Hollywood's biggest stars. All while staying within two hours of Los Angeles so they could play while they obey the two-hour rule that made Palm Springs, Palm Springs. All right, Desert, it's been a minute.